we have been sitting at the side of this road for a little bit now, okay? I don't think anything's going to be coming up here, Liberty, all right? I don't know why you had us come and sit down here, especially, you know, with two different things. You're, we're with Sheriff. I'm with Ann Arbor, okay? I'm supposed to be inner city. Looks like the shift is always, almost over. I mean... I mean, you're right. Like, I mean, to be fair, he's, he's not wrong. We did kind of come out here and get paid to basically just sit here for like two hours. But, you know, I guess that is what it is. <laughs> I can't complain when I'm uh, when I'm basically just sort of sitting waiting for something to happen, I suppose. Can't wait to go home. Yeah, that makes two of us, dude. That makes two of us. Uh, I'm ready, bro. I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to... Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Right off the bat? Right off the, right off the side here? Hold on. Let me just look at this. View active calls. All right. Someone's breaking into my friend's house. All right. Looks like we are going to go ahead and respond to that. Sirens and lights on. We're going down into the suburbs, I believe. Uh, I guess I'll just follow Liberty. He probably knows where he's heading off to. He's probably got, like, the address pulled up and everything. He's, he's pretty quick with that kind of thing, so we're not going to worry too much about it i'm sure he knows the route that we're supposed to be taking but uh i also don't really know what vehicle we're meant to be looking out for but to be fair it looks pretty empty as it is down here so i guess it is what it is i i'm, I'm not too worried about it but does liberty know where he's going <laughs> i feel like we've gone around in circles already we've only been here for 10 seconds we've already gone around in circles yo where are these guys wait what building was it was it this one over here was it was it somewhere around here? i guess we're kind of just going around the suburbs waiting to oh no they've got her so they've got okay yeah they're gonna be right off the bat right there okay uh they're yeah they're already hauling i'm gonna they're already hauling i'm gonna let liberty go ahead because he was the one in front before and then i'll pull it behind him and then these guys can follow i suppose so we're looking at a black corvette i think two people got into that vehicle as well and honestly based off of this alone i don't think we're gonna be able to stop this vehicle they could take off at any moment and just all the way uh around the city okay hold on i have an idea I have an idea. I'm going to break off from here and I'm going to keep my lights on. Actually, I probably keep my sirens on as well. I have an idea. This could be risky. And honestly, I have no idea how this is going to go. I have an idea and it might work. It might work. And I've only seen it done a couple times. But that being said, I, I think it will probably work. If we get ourselves a truck, right? If we manage to get them on the highway, get ourselves a truck and use it to block off the thing, that that could possibly work. All right, uh, hold on. Uh, listen up. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, listen up. I need you. I need you on the highway. Okay, I need you on the highway. We have uh, we have a pursuit. All right, we have a pursuit. We need to block it off. Can you help? Like, I mean, honestly, like, can you get your trucks up there? Can you help? All right, let's get going. All right, I'm gonna, I'll lead them up. I'll lead them up to exactly where we're gonna get them, okay? Because uh, if we manage to get them on the highway, then we'll be good. Like, I'll, I'll lead them up to here. We'll give them a good old police escort. I'm sure that's something that they absolutely love. <laughs> kind of thing doesn't happen very often, but all right. Uh, let's go ahead and turn on our sirens as well so that people know that we're coming up. Uh, we're gonna go up wrong side here just because this is gonna be the side they're probably gonna be coming down. So, all right, we'll get ourselves on the highway. All right, uh, and then I'll get my my vehicle probably here yeah there we go they know exactly what they're going to be doing oh yeah okay all right uh out uh yeah okay let's get them out of the vehicle because if it gets hit we don't want them getting injured okay and oh wait that was perfect timing they're already coming up here oh he's going way too fast oh dude oh that was perfect timing oh my god okay uh hold on i'm gonna i'm gonna haul up behind these vehicles here and i'm gonna also pull out my weapon and see and just and kind of make sure oh wait Okay, that seems like they're injured, or at least from what I can tell by the fact that they're screaming out of their window right now. Oh my god. Okay, I'm not going to move my vehicle out of the way because that's blocking that side so that they can't kind of go anywhere. They're not going to be able to go anywhere if they reverse back as well. I'm going to I'm going to stay behind the vehicle. I'm going to let Liberty take the lead on this because he kind of knows what he's doing uh, more so. He knows what he's doing more so than uh, what anyone else does. So I'm going to I'm going to hang back and let them kind of take the lead on this. I'm surprised that I managed to get on their stage. Uh, okay, I'm going to I'm just going to I'm getting EMS on uh, on route, but I'm going to get them the stage so that we're not uh, having them around here for no reason. OK, uh, we want to make sure that we get these guys out and make sure that they're not going to cause any major injuries for now as well. We Dude, we need to get these guys out of here. We need to get these guys out of here because they're, I mean, the entire highway already is blocked up. Oh my God. Prepare to move up. Okay, hold on. Uh, All right. I'm, I, I'd say I'm just about ready to come up behind you guys as well. I'm not going to go anywhere. Don't worry. I'm coming up. All right. We're moving up. We're moving up. Hands. My, my weapon is in my hands. All right. We're going to make sure these guys don't go anywhere. Do anything stupid. All right. There we go. Okay. We're surrounded by cops. That you are. You are in fact surrounded by cops. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Wait, he just pulled them out. We pulled them out. They pulled them both out. Okay. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 
Get down. Uh, now. All right, don't even, don't even think about it. Get down. Get your hands up and get down, all right? Don't even think about doing anything, all right? Don't even think about it. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm gonna go in my cuffs. He's got his hands behind his head, so I'm not feeling too nervous about it. Um, feeling okay, all right? Jesus Christ. What? I, I didn't do it, man. All right, hold on. Let's just, like, okay, first things first. Why, why did you run? Okay, why did you run? You think that was smart? Like, you do realize how stupid it is to, to run from cops, right? Like, you just gone ahead and just dipped and just, like, got away from all like that. Like, are you serious? You thought hopping in a Corvette and hauling down a highway was a good idea. I did not drive, man. You got in the vehicle. You got in the vehicle. Jesus Christ. Okay, uh, like, okay, hold on. We're gonna get the medic to check this guy out, because, uh, he was also in the accident. Um... We we got another to be checked as well. Uh, we got another to be checked out because we don't. I want to I want to get both these guys. I want to get them both checked to make sure that they're okay. So this guy was driving, and I'm pretty sure it was his side of the vehicle that hit the truck the hardest as well. So it, like like if you can see from where it was there, it clearly just sort of like wrapped around it a little bit. But I need a medic. I'm super hurt. Okay, you know what? Like. <laughs> You're getting a medic. Just stop, stop yapping. All right, stop yapping. We'll get you a medic. Jesus. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just detain this guy for now, so that is he keeps his cuffs on there, but we can get him checked out. We can see what's going on. So he's gonna get checked out by police. I'm not gonna go anywhere. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang out here to make sure he doesn't do anything dumb. Uh, my stomach hurts. Are you lactose intolerant and consumed an entire block of cheese by chance? I want medical attention. Okay. Well, um, you're getting medical attention right now. What do you mean you want it? Okay. You have it. Like. This dude seems genuinely injured. Like, I'm pretty sure his legs are pretty messed up. But this guy, he managed to get out of the truck, walk as well, and then was put in cuffs, brought over, and didn't say anything about an injury or needing a medic until such time as I said he had to be checked out. I mean, this guy's no, he's not very smart. Like, I mean, seriously, man, come on. Uh, did you feel anything hit you? Yes, an airbag. That is supposed to happen. Like, you are meant to hit the airbag. That's there to protect you, to stop you from getting, like, majorly injured. People these days, man, you guys are not very smart, you know that? You just, like, sit up. Don't, don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. You will see me in court. Yes, I will. All right? Yes, I will. I will be there. As of right now, he's not even being arrested. He's just detained. I need to make sure that he's not, like, severely injured before I arrest him. Who puts a garbage truck in the middle of the highway? We did that specifically for this reason, because it stopped you. <laughs> All right, he's checking for injuries. These guys, this guy's over here making sure that no one does anything. I'm gonna just check on these guys over here. Um, actually, hold on. Oi, for a sec. Just, uh, just keep an eye on them for a second. I'm gonna, I want, I want to see if this, these guys have found anything. Where do you think you're going, man? Okay, whatever. Uh, all right. I'm gonna, I just want to see what this guy's, uh, I was gonna say, have you found anything? Because we don't actually know what was taken from the house either. God, that garbage truck smells. I mean, it is a garbage truck, so what did you expect? <laughs> like, it looks good. Nothing. Okay, nothing too major other than that, obviously, the damage. Uh, all right. Uh, that's, that, that's fine. All right, all right. Finally, okay, this guy's still got his shotgun out. Okay, they're in cuffs. This guy's got broken legs. All right, you can chill out. <laughs> you want to have anything out, you can keep your taser out or at least have your hand on your gun. You know, I'll do that actually as well. I'm going to have my hand on my gun because ju just in case anything happens. I don't want to, I don't want to freak anyone out, but should anything happen, at least then we're prepared. I don't want your medical attention. Didn't you just say you wanted medical attention? Like, two minutes ago you were complaining about how you wanted medical attention and now you don't? This guy's on something, bro. This guy's on something. Now be gone. If you don't get medical attention, like, will not be released, okay? It's not gonna happen. <laughs> Okay, well, he's refusing medical attention, so I guess we just go ahead and arrest him. I mean, there's nothing better to do other than just get him in cuffs, so. He was, he was, he was an accessory to this, dude. Like, he was with this guy as a partner. Jesus, dude. Okay, uh, so your actual charges are gonna be, like, many, many different things. So you, like, you know, attempted house robbery, evading police, public endangerment, all those things. I just read him his rights. Like, I don't, I don't understand. I want freedom. Freedom. Okay, you know what? You will get, you'll, you'll get your freedom and all. Okay, that, that's not going to be an issue. But you are 100% going to uh, get that after you can talk, after you've talked to your lawyer. Okay, not, not before. Oh, they moved the truck out of the way. Okay, great. Actually, that's, that's quite fantastic. I think they broke the law. Yeah, no kidding, bro. You're, you're, you're not, you don't say. Like, Jesus. Okay, don't walk in front of my car, bro. Okay, uh, let me just try and reverse out of here. Okay, move out of the way. I'm trying to drive here here. Jesus. God almighty. I need to get back to the station. Y'all are making this way too, way too difficult. All right. Well, I guess I'm just going to go up the hard shoulder because you're placing cones everywhere. All right. Cruise light's going to be on. So he's going to go ahead and go to the station, get questioned and stuff like that. You can talk to his lawyer. Um, but you know, like the, this is not legal, you know, uh, 
Yes, it is. Perfectly legal to arrest someone who uh, broke the law. Not only did you attempt to rob a house with your friend, you then evaded police officers, you got into public endangerment with that reckless driving, uh, and then, you know, not to mention the constant arguments and stuff like that with police as well. Like, you're making this a lot worse for yourself, let's be honest. All right, let's let's just be honest here. You you made your choices, man. This is where it this is where it, it made you be. This is this is where you end up when you make choices like this. You end up in jail. All right, you end up at a police station in cuffs, and there's nothing else you can really do about it. I'm sorry, but you can talk to your lawyer. All right, you can you can go ahead and get that all figured out and do what you want to do. But as of right now, all right, you're just gonna be detained. Here we go. All right, we're gonna place you in here in handcuffs. Uh, I will I will get your lawyer. All right, I'll get your lawyer. You can deal with that then and there. But as of right now, you are you are in police custody. Okay, God, bro. Okay, I need to get someone else down here as well so we can watch him at the same time as me actually being about going out and getting his lawyer and stuff. But I think there should be another people, a couple people coming down at some point. So I'll go upstairs, call his lawyer, and then I guess from that point we can just uh, we can continue on with the investigation and charges and all that kind of stuff and figure it out from there. But till that point, uh, he's just he's gonna be he's just gonna be here. It's gonna be a long process, man. God damn it! Thankfully for those truck drivers, though, we managed to actually end the pursuit pretty quick.